What's going on guys? Today I'm here in Arena of Valor and we're going to be opening up about 60 chests that I've neglected to open since I started playing the game when it dropped in the United States about two weeks ago. On top of that guys, I'm going to be sharing a replay from one of my more recent battles, see how that function works in the game. So let's get into it guys. What is up my friends? My name is Echo Thrumi and it's time that we get into some of these chests. I didn't even know about it really. Then I found the backpack option which is in the bottom left and I saw that I have a whole bunch of chests that I could open right here guys. So I figured let's do it in a video, see what I get inside of these chests. I have some from level 1 all the way up to level 15 which is where I am right now. But before we get into any of these chests guys, I want to thank you all for coming down to the channel. I appreciate it. If you're into this arena of Valor stuff, I'm going to be covering it more on the channel in addition to my Clash of Clans and Clash Royale so <clears throat> make sure you subscribe turn the notifications so you don't miss any of this stuff guys it's gonna be a lot of fun let's get into these chests right now we have a level 15 chest I think I'll save that one for last so we'll get into this one right here we're gonna use it and um, level 3 chest okay what did that do there we go some gold some gems and some guard that's great I need all of these what do they call them relics or or something like that I forget what they're called but uh, they boost your character up. So I'm hoping to get a bunch of that stuff right here today. What do we have inside of this chest? We have Backstab. Here we have two more chests. Opening them up, we have got just 50 gold. And I'll open up another one. The chest looks great, but really uh, just give me a little bit of gold. We'll take that 50 gold right there. We're going to use this Arcana chest. What do I have? All right. I don't even know what these really do yet, guys, but after I get all these Arcana, I'm going to head over to my Arcana page and see what I actually have. Actually, I could click on them right here. So we'll go right here. We're going to use it. We're going to see. Okay, let's go. And a trial. Okay, get some of these trial cards. Not going to try them now, but that's a cool looking hero right there. See, I don't want to really try them. I want to have them. So we'll see in time. And then Lubu trial. Okay. Here we go. We're going to use this one right here. I guess I could do... Can I do them both at the same time? Yes, I can. All right. There we go. Two more trials. So I'm getting a lot of these trial cards. I'm going to open them both at the same time. Okay. What do we have? Violet for the trial. Sounds good. And in here we have a level 2 Arcana pack. Let's use it and see. The Arcana is what I want. Arcana and gold. So we have Vigor right there. Going into this Monday battle chest. Let's see what that offers us, guys. We get some, uh, another trial card. Okay. Wah, wah. Level 14 chest. So this one I didn't get too long ago. Recently got to level 14. Opening this one up. We got a lot of gold. We got some nice life right there and a few gems. What do we have here? We have 55 battle chests. Can I do all of them at the same time or do I have to go one at a time? Valor Badge. Oh my god, it's going to take me forever to go through all these guys. But we're going to do it anyway. Another Valor Badge. Let's get into this one, my level 15 chest. And I'm going to go through all of those all together, one at a time. 1,300, 10, and 1 guard. I also have these right here. Hero Trial card packs. Card packs. Let's get through all of them right here. What do I get? Violet. All right. I don't even know how to pronounce some of these names if you want me to tell you the truth, guys. But... We're just going to keep on rolling. We have more chests to go through. And as these chests are done, like I said, I'm going to go into one of the uh, one of the battles that I recently had. It was a mediocre battle. I didn't do my best, but I really want to test the function of recording in-game. Because when you're in-game, you can record your gameplay. As you see right up here in the top right, I can drop down and I can record. Then I can take those replays and share them with you guys right here right now i'm wondering on the quality though guys that's what i want to continue looking at checking out these are all going to be valor badges aren't they if they are i'm going to stop because uh you don't really need to see me open up all these valor badges but we'll see in one more second i'll do i'll do three more if they're all valor badges then we are going to just kind of you know quit it because it doesn't matter i'll do that on my own time and this is the third one is it a valor badge Yes, it is. Okay, let's get into that replay. The way that you do that with the replay function, and actually, if you want to set up your replay so you could do this exact thing right here, you go over to your settings, and you go into recording settings. You turn on free record and HD record. Once those are turned on from the, on the right-hand side, you can get things rolling. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to my file, and I'm going to play it, 
and we're going to watch it together. As you can see, I started the battle a little bit late with the recording, and uh, I was a little bit behind my teammates because I was just starting up the recording and all that good stuff. I don't remember if we won or lost this one, but basically what I'm doing right now is staying with my uh, with my team. As you can see, we did not have a tank in this battle right here, guys. We were going in all as ranged attackers. Remember that when you are uh, when you're playing, you're getting these upgrades that you could purchase in the shop. You're going to want to do that as you go on strengthening your character. On top of that, you have your attack button on the right-hand side, which you see blinking for me right now. You're also going to want to use those abilities when the pluses come on on top of them. That makes them stronger. These are all basic noob stuff that, you know, I didn't know in the very beginning of the game. Also, I just went up into that jungle over there and I took out one of those little characters over there. What doing that does, it gives me gold, it makes me stronger and helps me upgrade faster. So when you have nothing to do, when you don't have to jump in the battle, you should jungle a little bit. It's called jungling. Clash with Ash actually did a great video on how to jungle. And uh, that's what I was trying to do there. This is a one lane battle right here. It's only one lane, one set of things to take down, not the triple lane like you do in the 5v5. I like these because they're easy, they're quick, and I can just have a lot of fun with them, a little bit more casual until I get better as a player. So as you can see, my, uh, my death has happened. So I can scroll around, watch the battles going on, as you're seeing right there. And then when I, now my magic defense, I'm gonna upgrade that even though I'm dead. Um, once I respawn, I get back to my screen. We're not watching what's going on anymore. Now I'm back at the action and you're going to get to see what I'm doing. Time to protect this pole right here, guys. And it looks like uh, we got a little stun on him right there. Used all my abilities, but I am taking some heat. It's raining down. You see the plus signs down there. I choose to use my second ability, which does stun and slow the enemy. That's my favorite one to make nice and strong so that I can, uh, you know, I don't know. It's my favorite one to use, so I like to keep that one as strong as possible. If I have the option to upgrade that one, it's always the one that I'm going to choose. I now get my, my speed upgraded. You realize that when you start battling, attacks are pretty slow, they're pretty weak, but once you get stronger and stronger, your attacks are getting faster, your attacks are getting stronger, and you're able to beat down your opponent even more, especially with those, uh, when you're from a range, I personally like it. If I could, if I would have had a tank in front of me, it would have made it much easier, but as you can see again, we're all just ranged, guys, and uh, I do think that we bring across the win today. Not sure, though. We'll have to see. We're doing all right. Looks like we have three kills. They only have one at this point in time. I have one kill and uh, one loss. Or death, I should say. Two deaths. No, one kill, two deaths. So I'm doing pretty bad right there, guys. But whatever. It's about a team. It's about a team effort, right? So as you can see, I could upgrade again. I again chose that second ability. In 10 seconds, I'm going to be back in the battle. This battle itself is about six minutes long. And you know what? From, from looking at it right here, guys... I'm enjoying the record feature because I'll tell you why. When I'm playing the game, I'm looking down, not able to look at you guys in the camera, and you're basically seeing the top of my head. So using this ability here allows me to be able to talk about what was going on in the battle, what was going on in my head, and look at you and not be anti-social. It's also, I don't know, I just like it better. So I'm going to mess around with both. I'll definitely do live battles with you guys as well. But for today, it's using the replay feature. I really liked it, and uh, it worked out well. So there you go. I'm going to choose damage right there to make my uh my attack even stronger and guys why don't you let me know do you like me covering arena of valor on the channel definitely different much different from the clash of clans that i cover daily but i really was thinking about getting arena of valor on the channel two to three times per week just with some battles some tips teaching you guys about the game learning with me because obviously guys i'm very new to the game learning as i go and as you can see, I upgraded my attack, and I also upgraded that ability right there in the center on the right-hand side. We're going in right there, guys, and I took another death, getting my butt handed to me, but sometimes you have to sacrifice yours for the team. I don't know. You could probably be watching this right now, guys, and seeing that I don't know how to play it very well, that I'm still learning, and that you are much better than me. And if you are one of those people, leave me tips below. Friend me in-game, because I would love to learn with you, team up with you, and, uh, and become a better player. Because, you know, again, I'm just a new player right now. Definitely not trying to come across as someone that is ex as experienced as others in the game. Here we go. Time to get back into the action. Rushing my way up the lanes. Now, it's easy on these 3v3 one-lane matches because you're never that far out of the action. But when you're in the five-lane, 
it can take you a while to get there, guys. You sometimes get yourself pretty far out there. So here we go. We're getting a little push here. We got our, all of our heroes. We took down that first tower, and we're pushing for that second one right now. And as you can see, as I'm throwing, I'm getting some pretty good damage out of each throw. And uh, it's, it's working out pretty well. My hero's got themselves pretty strong. There we go. Getting the ability in there. Not, that was actually not the ability. That was just my regular attack. And I have low health, but I want to still get in on the action. I don't want to run back all the way to try and save my health. All of us are actually low on health. They could take advantage of that, take us all out, and then we would really struggle. Here we go. Getting the upgrade right there. Increasing health. No, I'm stunned, and I die again. Never a good thing when you die that much, guys. Now, I have to wait 26 seconds before getting back into this battle. It would be awesome if there was, like, a fast-forward option so that, um, you know, you could get it done quicker. Actually, there we go. My teammates took it down. Good thing for them because I only had one kill and a whole lot of deaths in this one. I've had much better battles. I just, I just didn't record them at the time. I try and record these on my iPad so I can get it into this overlay right here. I usually play on my phone. So there you go. That's the information right there. That's the MVP. I got the first blood, so I got one kill, and I never went back and decided I didn't want any more kills. <laughs> but that's it, guys. That was the replay right there. So what I have to do right now is uh, is get out of here with the X, and, uh, and that's how it's done. So again... Replay option is I showed you how to set it up. Pretty nice stuff right there. It's a great feature within the game. And, uh, and that's been it for today. So we opened up a bunch of chests, didn't get anything fantastic. And I showed you how to do the replay option. You saw how it was. You saw the quality of the replays. And uh, you saw a mediocre replay. At least my team won, though. But, guys, that's been it for today. Thanks so much for coming down. If you want more Arena of Valor or Clash of Clans daily, subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications. If you ever want to hit me up over on Twitter, you can do so at Echo Through Me. But, guys, this has been real. Thanks so much. I'll see all you back here later on today or tomorrow. Until then, be good.